right, so in your own words, what's going on here, Larry? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> So basically we've had some hydraulic uh, issues with the winches. The winch on your right had a brake issue. No, it had the hydraulic issue. It had a good brake. And the winch on the left had a bad brake, but good hydraulic. So we swapped the brakes. The hydraulics on the winch on the right started spraying. <laughs> and we've taken all the lines off and capped them. Run up the hydraulics. We're back at 1,500 pounds of pressure with no leaks. So now we are after refilling the tanks with that hydraulic oil, almost able to get underway. Mr. Hedge, is that a correct assessment? That is a correct assessment, Chief. <laughs> Outstanding. Thank you very much. I want you to notice the water level here. And it's going to drop just like that. <clears throat> That's how long it took us to fix the hydraulic issues we were having with the winches. The crane right now is taking off the empties of the hydraulic fluid we used to refill the hydraulic reservoir on the LT802. It was already down some. We didn't lose that much hydraulic fluid. We didn't lose hardly any. We had some, some problems with some of the lines, but we sopped it up pretty good. Now we're starting to take off, and what you'll see is all that debris that we're kicking up. We've only got about a foot and a half of water under the screws. We we're right at, our, right at our decision point, I think, with the tide going out. So, also the, the lines we could have had tighter on the BD to the LT802. Uh, but all in all, it worked out pretty well. If you just look in the back, you can kind of see the, the towing bridle um, drifting, draping between the, the BD and the back of the LT802. So, what you're going to see now is that we can release it. You're going to see the BD kind of drift away. We'll put it about 600 feet back on the string. And uh, I'll let you just check, kind of check it out from here. ...release of the BD. Do you have any comments? Well, you know, as, a, as an Army soldier, it's all about teamwork. Uh, I couldn't have done it without the, uh, the brilliant staff provided to me by the U.S. Army. I mean, you know, that's a great day for racing. How many knots are we doing? All right. 4.3 knots. A whopping 4.3. Well, okay. So that was a fantastic towing evolution. Mr. Martin acted as skipper of the tug, and you acted as? Pilot. Pilot of the army. Any comments? But hey, it went well. Uh, we're trying to use the elements to our advantage, uh, putting the wind on the on the uh, on the tow, so it pushes away when we're separating from the tug. Worked really well. Just uh, textbook. Excellent. All right. Thank you, Mr. Glafflin. Right Top, how you doing? Working. Nice. <laughs> So I just wanted to kind of show the operations, uh, what's going on on the bridge. So I got just a couple of a couple of seconds here of looking around and talking to a few different people on the bridge uh, while we're underway. Uh, just need to make sure we have some hand tools available for taking uh, breaking the pins, you know, stuff like that. Pliers, pliers, screwdrivers, hammers. Maybe some uh, cut off dikes or something. Sergeant Smith, how's the operation going so far? The operation is running smoothly right now. Nice. That's yeah, what right you want right to now. hear. Yes, sir. I don't know for driving. So we're on the starboard bow looking aft. And what's going to happen is Mr. Martin's going to make up the BD to the crane. You can see the EST coming in there to assist. It's still on the string, and we need to we need to bring it up so that we can take the bridle off and and uh, and then turn the ship around so we can dock it. So Mr. Martin is communicating with everybody and the crew and steering the ship. It takes about 30 minutes. He's making it look very easy. Um, and at the end, he's like, ta-da! I've done it. So he did a, a fantastic job. Probably 
one of the most difficult parts of this A2 certification because I mean there's currents and winds that you it's really difficult to see what's going on in the video here um, but it's definitely not as easy as it looks so right now the crew is is just getting everything ready the lines are very temporary uh, in a second you're gonna see the crane come over in the in the very aft if you take a look there it is there and it's helping them put the chain back up securing it so they can drop the bridle now what we're gonna do is disconnect from the BD completely the ST is gonna kinda take it and, and um, you know kinda help it float around out there while we turn around and make up to the other side so you see the ESD off in the in the left side of your screen. It's got the BD now, and we're disconnecting. So I just moved the camera around. It's in the same spot, and uh, in a second I'm going to take it to the port fan tail and look forward so that you can kind of see what happens or what what it looks like and what the line handlers are doing from the other stations. Well, it's a lot of training for them too. Uh, both the crews on the BD and the crew on the on the LT are rather green as a crew. A lot of experienced mariners on here, of course, but but working together as a crew, they're they're pretty green. So everybody knowing where they're supposed to be and what they're supposed to be doing is is uh, that's just part of training, you know. Mr. Claflin, this is your very last trip, probably, as skipper of the uh, LT-802, and possibly your last trip in the Army, because you're getting ready to retire. How do you feel about oh, that? Man. It's mixed, man, so love the job, love the adventure, love the crew, the people are great, so it's time to move on. You know, good people. So where did you start your career in uh, in the maritime field? Right here in, in Tacoma, Washington. Right so. here at Pier 23, which is where we're headed right now. With LSV 7 and LSV 3 and the BD parked right there. Beautiful day. And on his last trip, he licensed two. Yes, A2. A2 yeah, Vessel Masters. Go ahead, yeah. So, how's that for a last trip? <laughs> so, he just said something very profound, but you missed it. So, so that sucks. <laughs> so, said they licensed themselves. I was just here to check it off. <laughs> uh, nice. And eat good cookies. Thank you. Yeah. Cookies. Cookies. I'm here for the cookies. Tom Heal as one of the uh, A2s that he just licensed. Probably the last one he ever licensed. How do you feel about this trip? I am glad we're coming into port. It's been a it's, it's been a long, long couple days. Thank you. From our very newest A2 uh, LT802 vessel master. Top. I'm tired. <laughs> and from our second to last A2 vessel master. Are you the one? <laughs> oh, am I supposed to be saying some yeah. words of yeah. wisdom? Uh, all kinds of words of wisdom. Yeah. Now, this is Larry's last trip. Huh? He just licensed you and Mr. Heald to the A2 le level. Yeah. You know, it's a very noble thing. How yeah. do you feel about that? Well, I, I'm, I'm pleased, and uh, I just pray to God the check clears. <laughs> uh, Mr. Claflin, Skip, uh, certainly enjoyed having you out here. If uh, I gave you reason for concern a time or two, my apologies, my only human. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Kotke, for the cinnamon buns and the cookies. Hey, anytime. Thank you, Mr. Martin. All right. And uh, Mr. Claflin's very last docking will be private. <laughs> All right, so the rest of this video is just some pictures and videos, some of the training, life raft stuff. Um, there's no more um, stop motion stuff. There are a couple of training videos and a lot of pictures lasting four seconds apiece. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it. 
and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, nothing to see here. Move along, move along. So I wanted to quickly illustrate the ST900 being used as the bow thruster for the LT slash BD operation. Station number two. Light brush station number one is over there. This is our first abandoned ship drill. And there goes the skipper, making sure everybody's good to go. Which everybody's not, but that's part of the training. Watch that stuff, all right? Train like you're gonna do it. Uh, the next thing we're gonna we're gonna go right into the next series of drills, all right? Just gonna walk through them. I know this is a long day, a long morning. 